Our word for today is blessing. Blessing. Hold that word um, in your mind as we um, continue in our our look at this text for today and Christ the King Sunday and and what all that means to us as the church today. Now Merriam-Webster defines blessing as approval that allows or helps you do something or help and approval from God or something that helps you or brings happiness. Blessing. Most of you know that um, Amanda and Ashley, our daughter and her wife, had um, several miscarriages over the last several years and and lost uh, four children in pregnancy. This has been a difficult time for them and for Bob and I and all of our family as we have grieved their deaths. Not long ago, though, things began to change as two children, a brother and sister, came to live with them, and they are now pursuing adoption for these two children, age 11 and 7. So things got a bit chaotic in our lives very quickly when these children moved in last June. But now, just a few days ago, our chaos increased quite a bit when they received a phone call from a social worker telling them that um, the birth mother for their other two children had delivered a baby. And would they be willing to foster this baby and move towards adoption? Of course, much thought and prayer went into making a decision so great as this about receiving a new baby into the family. But they said yes. And that child came to live with us. She is um, now just about 10 days old. So we are thankful for the blessing that God has given to them and to all of us in this baby. What has happened that's been very interesting is the arrival of this now sister to the other two children um, has united them in a different kind of way as a family. They're all together caring for this baby and loving on her and tending to her needs. God reached into their lives, not one time with a blessing, but three times, giving to them the the hope and the joy that's needed to overcome their grief and to move into a new way of being family. Blessing is coming from God. Here we have this text for today, and it always um, sort of startles me when we get to to this point in our church liturgical year, and we we turn to the text for Christ the King Sunday, and the text that we read this year is all about Jesus being crucified on the cross. And I don't know about you, but you sort of go, what? Couldn't we have found a different text that would show a more triumphant Jesus? Jesus? But you know, maybe this is exactly what we are to be contemplating today. Because everything that Jesus did, from his arrival as a baby in a manger in Bethlehem, throughout his entire ministry on earth, everything that Jesus did and said was different than anyone expected. Jesus, the arrival of Jesus, turned the world upside down, and continues to turn the world upside down as Jesus lives and moves among us and among all creation. You see, Jesus is a a different kind of king, not a king who rules from a castle, who wears the crown with jewels and the red robe and requires people to, to kiss his ring and to kneel before him. No, that's not our king. Our king is a king who kneels and washes feet. Feet that are dirty and dusty. Our king goes to the margins of society to feed the hungry, to touch the untouchable, to eat with the outcast and the sinners, to multiply a meager portion of bread and fish, to feed thousands. Our king 
is a king of blessing. A king who looks to the criminal on the cross and says, Today, you will be with me in paradise. Our king bridges the brokenness of sin and separation. Our king enters in with blessing and abundance and love as our king extends blessing upon blessing into the lives of those whom our king loves. All of us. The whole creation. Everyone made in the image of God. Blessing spoken to the criminal. Out of God's love for that person in Jesus, this promise of paradise was spoken without expectation of a confession or right living or any other requirements. Instead, a blessing is a gift. It's a gift that comes out of love and mercy, not a gift that expects something in return. And so the blessing that Jesus gives to this criminal is an extension of unconditional, unmerited love. Today, you will be with me in paradise. God continued to bless the world through Jesus. For Jesus was not left on that cross. Jesus was removed from the cross and placed in a borrowed tomb. And then, God rolled the stone away and raised Jesus from the dead. Blessings continue out of God's great love for us. Had Jesus simply remained in the tomb, resurrection would be unknown to us. But instead, God worked through Jesus, through the death of Jesus on that cross. God worked to complete all of the promises of God as God raised Jesus from the dead defeating sin, death, the devil, everything that separates us from God has been defeated as that stone was rolled away. Our king emerged from that tomb showing once and for all God's unconditional love and mercy and grace. Blessing. Blessings are what we celebrate on Christ the King Sunday. The ongoing blessings of God that are being showered upon us day in and day out. The beauty of a sunrise. The cleansing rain. The movement of the wind. The reminder of spirit moving through creation. Gifts of food and clothing. Gifts of home and work. Gifts that just continue to unfold in our lives, allowing us then, my friends, to respond to these blessings of God, to live not just simply celebrating and, and living in the, the glory of God's love for us. This grace and blessing of God, it invites us to a response, not a response to earn anything from God, but we've already received from God everything that we need. It's an invitation to respond and to share the blessings that we have first received. We each can do that in different ways. Depending upon where we live, where we work, the clubs that we participate in, how we move about throughout our days and our nights, we all have opportunities to share a smile to speak a word of encouragement to someone. We all have the opportunities to look at the world through a lens of faith and see God at work, even as we face the tough challenges that exist in each of our lives in various and different ways. Even as we live in the unknown and the struggle of, of what the future holds for anyone, no one knows except that we know that God wins in this, that God is a God of blessing and love, and that God shows up in the midst of our struggles to remind us of the peace that comes from God. 
And so, my friends, how can we be a blessing to others? How can you in your individual lives, how can we as a congregation, we continue to discern and to seek out ways to share the abundance of God's grace? We just sent over 40 quilts to Lutheran World Relief that are being a blessing to others around the world. We deliver over 500 lunches. We make over 500 homeless resource bags that, that get handed out to people. We're putting coats and shoes on the people who live at Cedar Point who have no idea what a cold winter is like. We continue to reach out to show God's mercy and love through our own acts of generosity and care. So how can we continue to be that blessing? Today you offer your statement of intent as you discern how you wish to support the ministries of St. Philip in the next year and the years ahead. How can you share from the abundance with which God gave you? No gift is too small. How can you share from that abundance so that the ministries that live and breathe in this congregation and in the congregations around the ELCA and in the congregations as part of the Lutheran World Federation and throughout all of the ministries we support, how can your offering enable us to be blessings? Blessings who serve and love and care as we have been served and loved and cared for. Our lives or our life are called to, to be about action in this world. Be that blessing, my friends. Share the gift that God has first given you. Love with your whole heart. Serve with your hands and your feet. Be God's people in the world. And now I invite you to receive this blessing coming to us from Colossians, the first chapter. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power. And may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son in whom, my friends, we have redemption the forgiveness of sins, today and every day. And all God's people respond, Amen.